our Sun. It's a magnificent star at the center of our solar system providing the energy necessary for life on Earth. It's a giant ball of burning gas, primarily composed of hydrogen and helium, undergoing nuclear fusion in its core. This fusion process releases an immense amount of energy, giving us light and warmth essential for sustaining life on our planet. But the Sun has a temper. Occasionally it exhibits violent outbursts. It sometimes releases bursts of energy in the form of solar flares which are sudden and intense. We call these solar flares, they are among the most powerful explosive events in our solar system. Solar flares are powerful events capable of releasing energy equivalent to millions of hydrogen bombs. They release enormous amounts of radiation including X-rays and ultraviolet light. This radiation travels at the speed of light, covering the vast distance between the Sun and Earth in just 8 minutes. It can reach Earth in just 8 minutes, potentially disrupting satellite communications and power grids. These flares often occur near sunspots, which are dark, cooler areas on the sun's surface. Sunspots are cooler areas on the sun's surface, caused by intense magnetic activity. They are caused by intense magnetic activity, where the sun's magnetic field lines become twisted and tangled. Imagine a giant rubber band on the sun's surface, stretched and twisted by these magnetic forces. Now imagine that rubber band snapping. The sudden release of energy is similar to what happens during a solar flare. That's a solar flare, releasing pent-up energy in a dramatic and powerful burst, impacting space weather and sometimes even life on Earth. In 1859, the Earth experienced the sun's fury firsthand. A massive solar storm, now known as the Carrington event, struck our planet. Telegraph systems went haywire. Sparks flew from equipment. Some operators received electric shocks. The northern lights, usually visible only in polar regions, lit up the sky as far south as Cuba and Hawaii. The Carrington event was a wake-up call. It showed us that the sun, while life-giving, can also be dangerous. We weren't prepared then. What about now? Today we watch the sun with vigilant eyes. Our telescopes, both on Earth and in space, track its every move. The Kepler Space Telescope, designed to hunt for distant planets, has also been a valuable tool. It has observed thousands of stars, some experiencing super flares far more powerful than anything our sun has thrown at us. By studying these distant events we learn more about our own star's capabilities. We can better understand the mechanics of solar flares and super flares. Super flares. When the sun unleashes its fury. Imagine a solar flare but hundreds or even thousands of times more powerful. That's a super flare. These are monstrous eruptions of energy. While our sun hasn't produced a super flare in recorded history, other stars have. Kepler's data tells us that super flares are rare, but they do happen. These super flares are a reminder that the sun is capable of much greater fury than we've witnessed. Understanding them is crucial for our technological civilization. Earth under fire. The potential impacts of super flares. A super flare aimed at Earth could be catastrophic. It could cripple our power grids causing widespread blackouts. Satellites could be knocked offline, disrupting communication and GPS. Radiation from a super flare could pose a risk to astronauts and even passengers on high-altitude flights. The economic and societal impacts are difficult to fathom. Think about our reliance on electricity. Imagine a world without it, potentially for months or even years. It's a sobering thought. A cosmic lottery? Predicting the next big one. The universe is full of mysteries and one of the most intriguing is the occurrence of super flares on stars like our sun. These massive bursts of energy can have profound effects on any planets orbiting these stars including Earth. The big question is, how often do super flares occur on stars like our sun? Scientists have been studying this phenomenon for years, trying to understand the patterns and frequencies of these powerful events. The answer, based on Kepler data, is not reassuring. The Kepler Space Telescope has provided us with invaluable data, showing that while super flares are rare, they are not impossible. While rare, super flares on sun-like stars appear to happen every few thousand years. This means that while we might not see one in our lifetime the possibility is always there. That's a long time but in cosmic terms it's a blink of an eye. The universe operates on a different time scale than we do. And what seems like an eternity to us, is just a moment in the grand scheme of things. We can't predict exactly when the next big one will hit. Our current technology and understanding only allow us to make educated guesses. But by studying the sun and other stars, we can improve our understanding and preparedness. The more we learn, the better equipped we will be to protect our planet and ourselves from these cosmic events. Facing the sun preparedness and the hope of science.
In this chapter we delve into the intricate relationship between our planet and the sun, exploring how science and preparedness can help us navigate the challenges posed by solar activity. The threat of superflares is real. These massive bursts of energy from the sun can disrupt our technology and pose significant risks to our way of life. But understanding these phenomena is the first step in mitigating their impact. But fear not, for knowledge is our shield. Scientists around the world are tirelessly studying the sun, analyzing data and developing models to predict solar activity. This collective effort is crucial in building our defenses against potential solar threats. By understanding the sun and its potential, we can prepare for the future. This preparation involves not just scientific research, but also public awareness and policymaking to ensure that we are ready to face any solar event. Scientists are working on early warning systems. These systems are designed to detect solar flares and other solar activities in advance, giving us precious time to take necessary precautions. These systems could give us time to take protective measures such as taking vulnerable systems offline. This proactive approach can help minimize the damage caused by solar storms, protecting our infrastructure and daily lives. We can design more resilient infrastructure. Engineers and architects are already working on creating buildings and systems that can withstand the effects of solar storms, ensuring that our cities remain functional even in the face of adversity. We can develop strategies for coping with the aftermath of a major solar storm. This includes emergency response plans, community support systems, and rebuilding efforts to help affected areas recover quickly and efficiently. The sun may be capable of unleashing incredible power, its energy is both a source of life and a potential threat. By harnessing this power responsibly, we can turn a potential danger into an opportunity for growth and innovation. But humanity, armed with knowledge and driven by ingenuity, can face the challenge. Our ability to innovate and adapt is our greatest strength, allowing us to turn the unknown into the known and the dangerous into the manageable. Our future among the stars depends on it. As we look to expand our horizons and explore the cosmos, our understanding of the sun and our preparedness for its activity will be key to ensuring a safe and prosperous journey.